Hi, my name is Eric and I'm here to see if I can uh, help you with building a frame for a 4x10 uh, banner that you can use for events, soccer, church, everything. And they're easy to take down, easy to put together, so anybody can do this. There's some that you're going to have all kinds of pieces and this actually after a couple of versions has come out to be something that's easy to work with, repeatable, and it's really inexpensive. So um, some of the key items on this are uh, two five foot uh, conduit poles. And if you'll notice right here on the ends, we've pounded the ends so when we do stick them in the ground, they, they go in easy, they come out easy. Uh, another thing that you're going to want is two 90 degree pieces inch and a half. This is for the 4x10. If you go down below the 4x10 and go to a smaller one, you may change, you're may you going to change these pieces too. So this is a three-way piece, two of these um, you'll need, and they're inch and a half. And you will need two 10-foot pieces of inch and a half, and one One other piece that you're going to cut up and make for the sides and then one more piece you're going to make for the center piece and this center piece was through experimentation is probably the most important part of this whole uh, project and that is you're putting this in but you're not screwing it in or gluing it in so it's so you can't take it apart so if you'll notice it just has a scoop in it and the scoop fits top and bottom in the back and you could actually run one on either side and put this one in the middle and have this serve in two directions. But for this, we're just going to have one and I'm going to show you how to put that together. Also, if you've dealt with uh, wire ties um, and putting these together, you know that they, they, just, they just don't seem to work out very well. So I've gotten rid of those and got the bungees. So the uh, frame is a little bit loaded and stretched. So you can have some, keep it from the wind blowing and things like that. Another thing you're gonna need is a PVC saw, simple Home Depot, or a cutter. Uh, it's really nice to get this at Home Depot too, and they're fairly inexpensive. And so let's get started. This is part one. <laughs> 